What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new episode of On The Grind. Yes, I've been gone for almost, I think longer than a week and it has been totally my fault and I totally, totally, totally understand if you guys are mad at me or if you guys think that I'm an ass or anything like that. I'm so sorry for leaving you guys behind. But I was just tired of people actually... Yeah, I, I don't know what I was tired of, to be honest. I, I really don't. But I was tired of... Th- this is just my opinion. I was tired of people always having a negative opinion about anything... Um, something you try to say, you know? Like, if you say, for example, like... This is just an example, all right? Um... Picking up your trash on the street is a good thing. We all need to do it as Surinamese people. Oh, this and that, yada, 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 yada. You know, I mean, it just never stops. Like, people never stop complaining. And I I agreed with myself that, you know what? It doesn't matter what people think or what they want to say. You need to keep on doing this for the people that actually believe in it, believe in you, believe in the things you do, and believe in themselves. So I'm doing this for the one or two or I don't know, four people that are listening or that that actually like this. <laughs> and if you guys want me to do this in Dutch, I would gladly like to do that. And for people actually listening in listening in uh, in English, I hope you guys are enjoying this as well uh, as well. Um all right, that's enough. I mean, I've lost two minutes already. Today's episode um is gonna go about greed. Like, a lot of people have greed in this community, in this world. And I think greed is something that is human. I mean, we're all human, whether it's about money, whether it's about food, whether it's about having the best score in school. It's all about greed. It's never enough. And people will never actually be happy enough um, or satisfied. So... um, I'll talk about greed, how to actually come over this greed or or what to do to, yeah, hold a bit against it. I know it's hard and like I said, we're all human beings. I've had a hard time with greed as well and I know a lot of people who have greed and I'll, I'll explain it a bit. So let's say, for example, you put a goal for yourself right like your goal is to make a hundred bucks every single week all right you make the hundred bucks every single week it becomes easy you're like oh yeah yeah i'm a big baller now i'm this i'm that and then uh it starts to play because you see other people making 105 bucks for example all right for example 105 bucks and you're like oh wait but i want 105 too i want the five extra as well i want 120 i want 150 i want 200 and you keep on putting goals for yourself, which is not wrong. I mean, it's the best thing to do to keep on putting goals for yourself to reach the targets and things like that. But it doesn't mean you have to become sad when you don't reach the targets because you're actually satisfied with the hundred bucks weekly. You are. But just this greed that builds up inside of you actually lets you think that you need more. Like, no, this week you need 500. No, this week you need 1,000. No, this week you need 2,000. And what happens is the greed takes over, all right? And it happens with everything. Like, for example, food. Let's say you have um, one chicken leg, right? One chicken leg is enough to, like, have that satisfaction that you ate. Like, why be greedy and eat five? Not because you have the ability to eat five or five are available. Think about the other people around you. Think about humanity. Think about others. Think about what could have gone different if you had if you had not eaten like so many chicken legs or if you hadn't taken that extra five bucks. Be satisfied with what you make or what you have and cherish it. Because one day you could make a hundred bucks and the next day you'll make zero. Alright? So be satisfied with whatever you have i had the same problem and it has to do with risk management it has to do with money management it has to do with patience it has to do with every single every single movement in life and i know that a lot of surinamese people especially have problems with it and i know why they have problems with it because they're impatient and when i'm 
talking to them and telling them like like yeah you need to be patient their patience is like a week or you know two weeks when i talk about patience i mean something like two to five years two to ten years five to ten years that's patience all right you can't be like oh this week i made nothing next next week i made nothing and then the third week i'll make nothing no come on guys be on the grind be lurking for for things to do for things to accomplish for the goals to accomplish and don't get greedy if something's working keep on doing it keep on go- doing it and improve slowly steadily and you'll get there it's better to make for example 50 bucks every week than make five 500 bucks in a week and lose 50 I, okay that's extreme like make 500 in a week and lose 2000 bucks the next week just because of greed all right and I hope you guys like listen to my previous podcast where I actually talk about risk management, talk about all the steps you need to take in order to get that mindset because it's all about the mindset in the end, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you or teach you guys because, listen, if you have the mindset, every single thing in life is possible. You could become a chef, you could become a podcaster, you could become a tenniser, you could become a gymnast, you could become anything in the world all right and that's my focus for now i'm focusing on actually helping young youngsters achieving their goals achieving the things they actually want to go into in life and that nothing should hold them back all right and greed will play a big role in life but please guys and this is especially to the people of my age and under like 20 to 25 and 20 and under um Please, let's be the future. Let's work together because if you we won't work together, right? That's where greed starts. Greed starts with, oh, I want everything for myself and I'll give pe- 1%, 1%, 1% to the people around me. No, let's put something up together. Everybody gets even shares. Everybody gets, let's say, for example, we start something with 10 people. Everybody gets 10%. And then don't look at, oh... Yancho um, didn't do as much work as Nigel and you know like guys come on focus on the bigger picture and we can get there all right we can get there but greed is always in the freaking way and it's it's typical and I'll tell you why it's typical in Suriname because we have different um, ethnicities all right and this is not racist at all I'm not a racist person I see humans as one we are just human beings but this is how it goes. So in Suriname, we have different um, ethnicities. So let's say, for example, the white people, the black people, the Chinese people, the, you know, you know how it goes. All right. And the Chinese people, for example, would always say, oh, no, I'll just help the Chinese become successful, give cars, give houses, give ground, give real estate, give everything, give, you know, and then you have like the white people, for example, oh, We'll take all the shops, we'll take all the restaurants, we'll take all... And I mean, guys, why are we focused on that? Because of greed, but you guys don't understand. Like, let's say, for example, right? Um, Today, I go and buy a lottery ticket. My goal in life is to be a millionaire. All right, I win the lottery, for example, and I win 5 million bucks. I can assure you, right? This is just because I'm a human being. I can assure you that that 5 million bucks won't be enough to satisfy me. Even though if I have, for example, right now I have, let's say, 500 bucks, it still won't satisfy me. And this is because we always want to live above our like capacity. For example, we have a bike, now we want a car. We have a car, we want the newest car. We have the newest car, we want the newest Lamborghini. Just because our neighbor has the newest Lamborghini, we want... We have a house to live in, we have food, we want better food, we want sushi because Yan Pit class is each sushi and you need to show it on Snapchat or Instagram or guys please stay focused, let's grind, let's move, let's talk. If you guys wanna meet up, just let me know. I'm still in Suriname for uh, a bit and that's that that has been my ten minutes. Ten minutes has, has whoa flown by that was quick um guys i love you guys i appreciate you guys 
and let's stay in the grind let's keep moving like always if you have questions please send me a dm send me a message i don't bite at all let's have a meeting i like